Well guys, this will be the last voyage in the old 21 here. <clears throat> we are getting rid of it today. Um, and on this video, I'll also show you what we're getting to replace it. <clears throat> I just wanted to do this review while I still got a couple minutes with it. Uh, reason why I'm getting rid of it is I hate white. I didn't realize how much I hated white, but I hate white. Um, I honestly, like, the fuel mileage, I, I mean, I think this thing knows I'm selling it because this is the best fuel mileage I've ever gotten the entire time I've owned this thing. Um, and I just, I don't need to tow as far anymore with it. I don't need to, like, I mean, we used to go from Utah to like Ohio and Indiana and now it's not that far. So uh, it's time and I, I don't like this color. I really want a mega cab. I really hate having a dually all the time and yeah, it's just, it's time and I will show you guys what we replace it with, but I just, it's uh, going off. It's got 19,000 miles on it. Um, I'm selling it for more than I paid for it, which is insane still, but we got something to replace it with. It's going bye-bye and uh, yeah, I'll show you guys what we got. All in all, if you find yourself in the market for a Ram 2500, or 3500 if you need a dually great this isn't a bad truck i think i would have spec'd it different i don't think i would ever do 410s again i think i'd do 373s but yeah uh not a bad truck just not what i want not what i need anymore all right guys we are in the truck uh this is seth's 19 f250 or f350 um we got the gooseneck uh we couldn't just with everything going on with rod run and everything else uh, I, I had to go by myself so I got the trailer so we could tell at home we are driving through beautiful Tennessee on Interstate 40 headed towards the southern southeastern corner of like Bowling Green area to go look at this truck and I don't know this is the first time I've really had a chance to drive a Ford with a decent load behind it it's just my empty trailer but um, I don't know uh, like the exhaust brake kind of yeah but the trans does shift better than the ASIN and the one thing I noticed about the Fords is they really don't have a ton of power until like 2500 that's when this truck like kind of starts to scoot but I, I do think a lot of it has to do with the trans tuning but uh, really nice of Seth to let us borrow it and uh, yeah that, that's kind of what we're looking at on time here and making moves guys we everything i have never tried to let the channel down even though sometimes i go spurts without it it's just new business is rough also shout out to my boy ethan over at wp diesel ethan patterson sick merch all right guys so we are at bmm motor b and m motors in some place in tennessee it's t-o-p k-e-n i don't know toppenston uh it's right over the border of tennessee and we're here this is a small dealership i've been dealing with a, a guy named alex and then another gentleman they've both been really awesome they actually i mean they really have for a small dealership they got three of these they got three mega calves and uh yeah we test drove a couple they were super awesome let me go on a test drive unaccompanied um, for the market, very fair prices. Um, and none of these are like clapped out. Prices. None of them are rusty. Most of these trucks have just barely over a hundred thousand, no paint chips. And like I said, pretty, pretty decent group of guys. I was, I'm not gonna lie, just a little skeptical at first, but, uh, you know, they're, they're a real dealership and they have real trucks and the prices are good. And I checked over a couple of them personally, test drove a couple and they shifted good, ran like they should. I didn't hear nothing, no issues, no problems, nothing. I've been pretty impressed. Some of them are a little more modified than others, as you can see, some traction bars and stuff. But yeah, we're gonna go see if we can make this deal and get ourselves a new daily driver. And here's, look at Seth's beautiful rig here. Just towing that trailer with ease. But yeah, B&M Motorsports, or B&M Motors. Very, very good group of guys. Well, guys, we are taking hold of the black on black tunnel cover 3500 68 Laramie 
black interior, never smoked in. Just a little, a little, uh, a little bit better for what we need now. I'll explain why, but I'm gonna get this puppy loaded up on the trailer so I can get home and we'll kind of go over what this is all about. All right, we got her all strapped down. Time to put Seth's truck to work. All right, well, we got her home. Nice rainy night. Trailer did good, Seth's truck did good. This thing still, still starts and uh, <clears throat> life's good. Let's get it unstrapped and then uh, not gonna lie guys, uh, between the last couple of days and weekends and everything, I'm pretty tired. So we'll finish this video up in the morning. We even got Dave back into a Ram. We're going to drop Seth's truck back off so he can use it. And uh, we already took a trip up into coal country, West Virginia in this truck this morning. Uh, 200 miles round trip and it is now filthy and covered in coal dust, but didn't leave us stranded. So that's, that's always good. Got pretty good mileage too, like 19 if I recall. All right, so I know all you guys are asking, why in the heck did we just sell our 21 Dually and buy this thing? So it's a 15, if I haven't said that, 3,500, 68 trans. Single rear wheel mega cab, and it's black. That Dually, there wasn't a lot to be had. Uh, Trevor Peterson gave us a great deal, and I still appreciate that to this day. Um, I never had a white vehicle like that, and I will never have another one again. Um, just not a huge fan of it. I also didn't like the quad cab portion. I love mega cabs. Like I'd rather have a short bed and watch the gooseneck than have a long bed. And we drive it so much regularly in town and stuff that the dual rear wheels just weren't cutting it. And now our drives are a lot shorter. I mean, guys, we used to drive 30 hours one way. Now we're driving eight hours, six hours one way. So we're not towing as far, we're not towing as heavy. Um, and the, the dually days are just for right now behind us. Uh, not many times in the market do you get to make money selling a used truck that you bought brand new. So I capitalized on that. I figured if the market tanks on this guy, I'll lose, I don't know, 4,000, maybe $6,000. Market tanks on that dually, 20 grand, easy, gone. So. We got this one. Uh, we're gonna do some upgrades. We got valve body coming, maybe some turbos, some fueling, uh, some tuning. We gotta do some regular maintenance, ball joint shocks, hubs, probably look at the brakes, stuff like that, all our fluids and filters. Um, but yeah, this is a one. I'm now the second owner of this truck. Um, and we took it to West Virginia today. No problems at all. Got good mileage, drove nice. Uh, definitely needs a steering stabilizer and shocks, but I looked under here. It's the factory stuff, so I'm not that surprised. And uh, yeah, this is this is it. Pretty dirty, but Laramie. Decent stock wheels. We'll we'll get wheels and tires on it. Came with this bed cover. Uh, it did come with my grandpa step here, which I'm a big fan of. Our BMW hitch for our dually fits in this receiver as well. And yeah, it's extremely dirty, but yesterday it was clean until I drove it. Um, it's in really good shape. Paint's not scratched, micro scratched, nothing like that. Uh, we do have to work on the amp research steps. Uh, I just pulled the fuse out for right now. This one works, the driver's doesn't. So we'll have to cross that bridge when we come to it. But yeah, uh, it is the blackout edition. Nice headlights. And honestly, guys, I think these headlights are brighter than my 21. I, maybe maybe i'm seeing things different but like these headlights are insanely bright it does have the gooseneck prep package so all the stuff from my 21s there so this thing is ready uh ready to tow that's that's rough we're still we're still working out the kinks on that one but anyway that's there um and it is a laramie mega cab really not all that much to say about it uh it does have side steps but i don't know these ones just kind of fit weird so i unplugged them uh but yeah if you guys haven't seen the inside of a mega cab here you go very nice and spacious and uh yeah not not too bad let me take you guys in here now this is something that we might change i might put a business center console in but for right now this at least gets it done um 
68 truck it is emissions on all that fun stuff you guys will see uh kind of what we're doing here shortly but here's a nice under the hood bone stock just the way i wanted it unmolested um and yeah we're just gonna kind of go through its paces i do if i'm being honest the fourth gen front ends on these i think i like more maybe i didn't but now i do if that makes sense but i have seen guys putting fifth gen tailgates on fourth gens and i did like the fifth gen tailgate i thought it was a little nicer than these so we uh we might do that um and as you guys have seen on the hood it's emissions on and we're gonna have some fun with it it'll, it'll be a good time the 68 drives a lot better shifts a lot nicer and that's really what it boiled down to we had an opportunity to sell the truck had an opportunity to buy something that i wanted mega cab black fourth gen uh we're it's a one owner truck i actually uh got the original owner's name he towed golf carts with it um and kind of used it as his daily he just buys a new truck every hundred thousand miles uh and when this one hit 100, he put an order in and we bought it. And now the rest is history, but he took good care of it, so he says. And by all aspects of what I see, it looks like it's in good shape. So I'm really excited. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys have any companies that you would like to see that I haven't heard of, drop them in the comments below. I'm so happy to be back in a black mega cab and uh yeah give this one a thumbs up drop that comment subscribe if you're not already and as always guys i will catch you on the next one